What's up guys, this is Masi, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for OF2, oxygen difluoride. So the first thing I need to do, I need to find out the bonding capacity of each element in this compound. We have oxygen and we have fluoride. So the bonding, the valence electrons for oxygen, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for fluorine, we have 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So bonding capacity of oxygen is 2, 1 and 2. Bonding capacity of fluorine is 1, as you see here. So since the bonding capacity of oxygen is more than bonding capacity of fluorine, so oxygen is going to be the central element and F is going to be the surrounding element. So it's going to be pretty much like that. O, F, and F in both sides. So now what I need to do, I need to place, I need to um, calculate the number of available valence electrons in this compound. So oxygen is 6 and we have 2 fluorine and each of them are 7. So it's going to be four plus 6 plus 14, which is going to be 20. Then I need to place bonding electrons between two adjacent pair of atoms. So 1, 2, 1, 2. And then I need to place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms. So only on the surrounding atoms, not the central atom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then what I need to do, I need to basically determine how many electrons are still available. So we need to count all the used electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 20 minus 16. So we have still 4 electrons. So these 4 electrons, we need to place it for the central atom. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the rest of it is going to be what we earlier so now we don't have any valence electrons left what we need to do we need to check if we have octet for all these elements two four six eight for fluorine good two four six eight for oxygen we are good two four six eight for fluorine we are good the only last thing I need to do I need to put dash for each bonding pair and then place lone pairs around each element which you need to show it in Lewis structure so that's the Lewis structure for oxygen difluoride I hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question please don't forget to subscribe this channel you can have access to many other videos regarding chemistry physics and math thank you for watching and have a great day